Hi guys, just wanted to show you a, a guitar kit I got. I, I got it off of Tom Top. He's an eBay seller. I have opened this up before, just to check the inventory. But this is what it looks like. So we got the body, the neck, and all the other bits and pieces, and the instructions. And the, the instructions are, are pretty vague, but they do have all the guitars in there except for this guitar but i'm sure it'll be easy to figure out i like i built a the telecasters that i got from a saga kit and it was pretty easy to put together anyways here's the body and they must match them because both the body and the neck have are stamped 42 and even in the neck pocket it's stamped 42 but it's a real nice looking piece of wood. And you know, everything's routed out. There's holes everywhere you need to run wires through. So that's the body. And here's the neck. There's a YouTuber called Guns and Guitars. He inspired me to build another guitar. The first one I built turned out okay, but I didn't really know what I was doing. But after checking out that Guns and Guitars video, I learned a lot. So I'm gonna try to try to do it again. This is the neck and it's 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 a it's pretty well built. I mean it feels it feels pretty smooth. It's gonna need some fret work I assume but it seems it looks straight. There it's I mean, it's machine. It, I think it feels quality. I think I'm gonna do it cherry red with Rit dye. And let's see here. Here's all the pieces, other parts and pieces. It's got. It comes with a cable and looks like a truss rod tool. The tuners actually look pretty good. They they turn nice and smooth. But there's all the pieces for the tuner. The there's the nut, which kind of concerned me when I first took it out because it looked like they glued the nut in and then knocked it out or something. Or maybe that's just the glue from when they put the fretboard on. I don't know. But yeah, truss rod cover, nut, and the rest of the the tuners and all. It looks like all the screws and everything's in here. Then we got the the backing plate for the electronics. Uh, the backing plate for the bolting the neck on and the rest of the hardware for doing that. And we got uh, some pickups, humbuckers, and the bridge, the bridge pins. And you'll notice on the guitar that it's not drilled for the bridge pins, so we'll have to align it all. And I've got straight edges and stuff to do that. Uh, there's the set of strings. And then the knobs. And the knobs are pretty cool, actually. They're... I think this is going to be a pretty cool kit, so. Yeah. And the neck and the body joint actually fits pretty good. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I, I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a cool build. So stick around. Here's the finished product. I cut kind of like a wave, and the headstock is kind of like half of a Gibson headstock, if you will, but the whole whole length of the whole width of the headstock. So this was the Tom Top Les Paul Jr. kit. Paid $62 for this. Inspired by Guns and Guitars. You guys should check him out. There'll be a link to his um, 
YouTube around somewhere and uh, you should check out his channel he inspired me to do this and uh, I've had a lot of fun playing it finished it with uh, this writ die this was like three bucks and uh, gun gun stock oil got my helper in here <laughs> Anyways, plug it into the plug it into the computer here. stuff thanks for watching and uh, check out guns and guitars and my helper good night <laughs>